What's up, everybody? Let's talk about consequence in video gaming and how I think my friends are seeking it out. And uh, they don't exactly know that they're seeking it out. So there's a they live lives incredibly divorced from large amounts of conflict. And by large amounts of conflict, I mean they exist in a realm where there's a large amount of... Uh, simulated challenges that have a reduced reduced penalty level so that say you get a torch thrown in your character's face at rpggame.net it doesn't uh, hurt as bad as it would if you got a torch thrown in your face in real life and they're using this to simulate their uh, need for conflict or challenge or the fight or flight drive over the internet by going to rpg game uh, dot net and saying fuck you this game sucks and somebody's over there ready to defend the rpg game dot net like well fuck you oh it fucked your mother man and you know it gets nowhere but they spend the next hour two hours days arguing with each other over nothing uh on the internet because maybe it gets the maybe it takes their life out of the category of utter banal emptiness that it was the days before. They're both waking up on the wrong side of the bed. And you know they have they got too much running. Not even saying that they like fiscally wise, but like they, they there's no crackheads jumping them from a bush and they're just punching it in the face on the ground. Get the fuck off me, man! So like they don't have that conflict in their life that they're just like looking to chill out afterwards. There there's no release for that valve, so the release for that valve comes over the internet and, and voices and, you know, texts and faces on Facebook that you interact with. Ah, well, you're fucking wrong. Maybe, maybe people should get out there and you know, find some conflict from time to time because the internet might be a better place if that's, actually, that's probably a horrible idea because it, as before... You're not like physically on a sidewalk, just like uppercutting a fucking crackhead. And that pre that presents a large amount of danger. Maybe he's got a knife. Maybe he's gonna smash your head into the sidewalk. Who knows, right? The other hand, you're just telling somebody to piss off on the internet. But go find a like go find a struggle somewhere, man. Because the struggles that you're finding on the internet are doing you shit, except for like fucking growing you more gray hairs early, right? Go find, go find a struggle against yourself somewhere. Go find a, a mountain that you don't think you can climb and walk up at or run up at or, you know, ride a bike up at or whatnot. And try to go faster and faster and faster. You know, try to, try to beat your own post, you know. That's a much safer way. I just think that there's a, a distinct lack of uh, very visceral challenge in people's lives that is represented in the, the muddy world where you get cuts, scrapes, and bruises, and people are trying to uh, get that adrenaline dump, that body rush, that uh, state of mind from just fighting with people that they disagree with. Deuces.